So we're back again. Mm -hmm. So about two weeks ago, I made a video talking about homelessness and why you shouldn't move in with a woman. If you move in with a girl, yeah? If you move in with a girl, you move into a girl's yard. Once you break up, if you're lucky, you go to your mother's yard. If you're not so lucky, you go to your auntie's. If you're on an idiot thing, you sleep, you, you stay with your sister. And worst of all, you might go to the Salvation Army, if not out on the street. Man, they need to stop moving in with gal. Get your things together, get your own place, and have a gal come moving with you. Because if not, you'll be out on a fucking park bench. And like, literally, I made that video about two weeks ago. But I'm wearing exactly the same clothes. It's not a case of me making that video in a different location to this one here and then pretending that it was two weeks ago. No, literally, a man made that video two weeks ago and all my hair is fresh and man's wearing the same clothes, isn't it? But literally, that video was made two weeks ago, isn't it? Yeah, like, these are my house clothes, isn't it? And obviously, it's December now, winter time. You know it's cold. And I got my heating on all day long and my yard is still quite cold, isn't it? Yeah, so, man, I have to walk around in hoodie, joggers and get me dressing gown and that, innit? and it's still cold you know, down here anyway, upstairs is alright innit so that video if you ain't seen it, go check it out um, but before I release my videos as I always say in it, like I have to go and watch them through and I listen to them before I actually put them public innit so boom listening to that video and a few days ago, I was at my mum's yard, then it went back home. Me and mum was having a conversation. We're talking about someone that we know, innit? And what happened was, they had their own property that they bought. It was a flat. And then their mum, who's a big woman, well into her 60s, maybe 70 or something like that, innit? She passed away. And her mum owned her house or flat or whatever and owned her own property. So obviously, naturally, if you're an only child and your parent dies, if your parent has a property or assets and money, well, you're going to be the heir to that. You're going to benefit from that. So she inherited the property, naturally. But there was only one slight issue with that. Am I spoken about this before in the past? Her mum's lifelong partner was still living in the yard. So the daughter, who's, let's just say she's 40 years old or whatever, and it rounded off. Her mum, who's 60, 65, 70, whatever, and it passed away and left a lifelong boyfriend in the yard. Can't even call it a boyfriend in it yet. Let's show some respect and say partner. Fuck, God forbid man still has a girlfriend at the age of 70 or something like that in years. Boom. The mum's lifelong partner has been left in the yard. He's still alive and well. Well, the gal come to a crossroad. And I know she probably didn't even think twice on it. You know what she did? She kicked the man out of the yard and sold the property. Made the man homeless, you know. Kick his ras clout out on the street. Now, my mum said to me, because my mum's a nice person. My mum, you get me? I'm a mum spawn, innit? Man comes straight from my mum, but my mum's not raw like, man. Yeah, I'm like literally my mum's dark side or whatever, innit? Yeah. My mum said, nah, man, what she done was, you know, was terrible on that. And I said, yeah, I hear that. But it is still. Why is a man living under a woman's roof? See, that's my philosophy, innit? Man bang on about this all the fucking time. One sec. Let me talk, turn the volume down like I'm doing something on my, my laptop, innit? Why a man living under a woman's roof? So imagine, yeah, you're, you're, you're a big Ross Clark man, 60, 65, 70 years old. You're living under a woman's roof. She passes away. The door comes to inherit the property and take the property with him. You get kicked out. This is what a man fucking keeps saying, blood. Stop living under a gal's roof. Because that could be you one day, you know. Yeah. 
Yeah. More time, obviously, women outlive us. Yeah, women outlive us men. But sometimes, you know, the woman can pass away before you. If you're living under a roof, what do you think is going to happen to the roof? What do you think is going to happen to the property? If the property is owned by that woman and she has pitney them, which is more than likely, and you don't father them pitney, you, your rascal cloud get kicked out. You end up in a fucking old people's home or something like that. On a park bench. At the Salvation Army. Stop moving in with women. Now that's a situation where the woman passes away. If you don't watch videos about power and relationship dynamics, you need to start watching them. You know, any person that you know right now, any guy that you know right now, any couple that you've been aware of yeah, in your life, including your own, if you're a guy watching this right now, or even if you're a girl, do you know why most relationships break down? It's because the man starts showing weakness. That's the biggest relationship killer when a man stops putting his foot down and standing up to the women standing up to his woman when he starts taking her shit and allowing her to run the relationship you see women will do these things you know to test your strength as a man not test to see how strong you are she ain't gonna uh, yeah, put put your elbow upon the table and let's have an arm wrestling match. No, she don't want. Women are not interested in how big your fist is or how big your bicep is. That comes natural to men. But throughout the course of a relationship, a woman's gonna test your strength, people. Your emotional strength, the mindset of you know what? Before I let you take the piss and try and run this relationship, I'm gonna keep it moving because I'm a fucking man. Even if I don't have no other options, I'd rather be single than deal with your bullshit. If you live under a woman's roof, one day, there will come a time, as long as you're not staying there for a month or whatever, and obviously things fizzle out before, you know, if you're staying with a woman long term, six months, a year, past a year, two, three years, whatever in it, there will come a fucking time where she's going to get so disrespectful that she's going to put you in a position where you need to leave. If you ain't got nowhere else to go, whether it's a park bench, whether it's a salvation or whether it's your mother's yard, whether it's your sister's yard, if you have nowhere else to go and you don't leave, you showed weakness. You showed that you're willing to put up with bullshit from that woman. And ultimately, she's going to lose respect for you. At least if you're in a position where you own your own yard, whether you rent or own the property, for, don't matter about that. It's your roof. If there does come a point, which there will, where you're going to have a breakup, because breakups are inevitable in long-term relationships. If you have a breakup, at least you're still going to be pun under your own roof. Even me and my girl, she hit me up uh, was it yesterday or something like that. We didn't speak for, I don't know, just under two weeks or whatever, innit? Yeah, yeah, we broke up. Now, I didn't message her. She has to come to me. This is my roof. Yeah, this is, this is my yard. Yeah. So if we're breaking up, then we just don't talk. Imagine if I was living under her roof. I would have to leave. It's either you leave or you get emasculated. I know what I'm going to do. And as I said, it's the inevitable dream relationship where you're going to have to fucking leave to show that woman that you're a fucking man and you don't take no shit. Even if it could be a minor little thing, there's going to come a time where you know what you have to put your foot down and say, you know what, even if it's a minor little thing, you're still going to have to check that woman. You have to show her that you mean business. And it ain't just, you know what man made that video the other day, talking about, I told my girl, ah, oh, um, 
uh, yeah, I beg you to sort out them clothes or whatever, innit? Oh, no, I'll do it tomorrow, innit? And I said, listen, yeah, if you don't do it today, then you're going to be sleeping in A bed. It's my bed or your bed, but them clothes there, you're going to be sleeping in A bed, innit? You, you need to either sort out the clothes them or, or, or come out the yard or whatever, innit? Yeah. Fuck all them thing there, innit? Yeah. Think things get serious, innit? Yeah, and you really do need to show that woman that you mean business. So you may have to kick the girl out or stop talking to the girl or leave that yard. And me, I'm a man, I ain't got time to be showing a woman that I mean business and having to leave a yard with a fucking laundry bag and go and stay at my mother's yard on her sofa, go stay at my fucking auntie's yard. Nah, 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 nah. I ain't got time for that bullshit. Me, I'm a man, I represent stability. All of this up, back and forth and shit, that, that ain't me. That ain't me. I'm too well established to be living under a woman's roof. And one little argument, and I, I feel like I need to, you get me, sure that I mean business. So that means I have to leave. Fuck, fuck all that shit, man. Fuck all that shit. Fuck all that shit. Like, there's some women as well. They won't want to move and live under a man's roof. Do you know why? Because they don't want to give the man that power. Because they know, if we have an argument, I'm going to have to leave. There's a lot of women out here, they're in 50-50 partnership, like, with, with their, their boyfriend or their partner, yeah, like, on the mortgage, yeah? but it's not 50-50, yeah, it's more like 90-10 to her, yeah, she runs things, yeah? if she could have it her way, because you have to check it, a lot of women just use these men as sleeping partners, you know, yeah, and I'm not talking about sex, blood. They literally, they just, they just go 50-50 on the mortgage with that brother because they don't have the rest of the money. If they could have it their way, they would own 100% of the property and you come and move in with her so she can control the dynamics. Because most women know that most men don't have an abundance mindset, don't have the mindset of, you know what? I'd rather be homeless than put up with your fucking bullshit. Most men don't have that mentality. And I know why. Because it's fucking hard. Who, who the fuck wants to go and sleep on their mum's sofa? Uh, go have to be begging their sister and begging their auntie. You know? That's that's long. Man, I ain't got time for that bullshit. Man, I ain't got time for that bullshit. Oh, my journey to work was usually 15 minutes. But now that I'm back at my mother's yard, I have to travel an hour to work. Fuck that. Man, I ain't got time for that. Man, I ain't got time for that. So you know what? I'm going to make sure I'm stable. So that I'm not in a position where no woman can kick me out or I need to uh, show her that I'm tough and leave the yard and pack my stuff. I ain't got time for that bullshit. Man, I ain't got time for them games. But if you're moving with a woman, that's going to be your fate. You're going to have to show her that you mean business one day. And that means packing up your things and leaving. And you might have to do this once every six months. Because women ultimately are going to go and test you. They're going to test you. See what you're fucking made of. Yeah, everyone, a, a, anyone can say, oh, uh, sort out them clothes. Yeah. Or you're going to be sleeping in a bed, either my bed or your bed. But you need to sort out them clothes. Any, anyone can say that. Anyone can say that. But can you pass the real test? Yeah. The test of, oh, we're broken up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we ain't getting back together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the real test. You get me? Are you going crack? Are you going crack? That's the real test. But yeah. I don't feel sorry for my man who uh, got kicked out by um, his uh, missus's uh, daughter after she passed away. Because why are you in a position where someone can come and disrupt your your living situation your grown ass fucking man we've been doing for 65 70 years or your ass can't lie you see me i'm a man i take accountability yeah that's my mentality if the man had two free properties and that if he had 100 grand in savings fuck, fuck if he had 100 grand in savings fuck if he even had three four properties if the man had one property on the side you think he would be in a position where a gal could come and tell him well boy you have to leave i'm selling this yard i don't feel no remorse to him so this is a problem. Man them take it too easy. Man them get too comfortable living under a woman's roof. They don't save their money. 
You want to spend money on the weekend, spend money on this holiday, that holiday, this clothes, that clothes. When they should be saving their rascal like money, put themselves in a position where, boy, no matter what happens with this woman, if I'm living under a roof, I've got somewhere else to go within 30 days. Because imagine a man might have a property, but it's being rented out by someone. So you need to give people 30 days notice. But that's all right. That's all right. If you're a guy watching this right now, if you live under a woman's roof, but you've got your own property and it's rented out, no biggie if you have to uh, go and stay at your mother's yard for 30 days or whatever, isn't it? Yeah. So you can kick out the tenants and go and move in. Fuck it. Me personally, I'll say don't, don't do that at all, innit? Yeah. Make a woman always come moving with you, innit? But nah. I'm not moving under, I'm not living under no woman's roof, innit? Like I said to my mum, the only woman's roof I'm living under is yours. My mum is the only woman that can have any sort of power over me. Because my mum breed me. My mum birth me. Other than that, ain't no woman got no kind of power over me. I don't give a fuck. It's not happening. It's not happening. Women will try and use children as a, as a crutch. Yeah? But boy, you ain't going to see your use. There's a lot of men that put up with a lot of bullshit in relationships and that because they, they think that, boy, if I split up with this gang... She's vindictive. I won't see my use. Well, I won't fucking see them then. No woman is taking me for no idiot. You basically got a noose around your neck. And you're on, on top of a trap door. Fuck that. Man don't live. Certain man are on tilt. Man don't. No, man don't live like that, you know. No, 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 no. If I had use and the girl said, boy, you ain't going to see your use. Well, I ain't seeing them then. I ain't going to have no woman make me no bitch. I, how my use going to respect me, fam? See you get emasculated all the time and uh, seriously, go and watch them videos about relationship dynamics and uh, I'm telling you right now, 95% of the relationships that you've ever witnessed or been in, the reason why they ended is because the man stopped standing up to the woman and he became weak. She broke up with him and you know what he did? He probably begged and pleaded with her to stay with him. Or he turned into some kind of like stalker, like a mad stalker, like she has to call the police, that type of stalker. Because man don't know how to move on. Man don't know how to move on. Well, man are in a position where, boy, again, Salvation Army or your cousin's yard or your sister's yard and that. Literally, you're like an unwanted guest in that house. No matter how much someone says, don't worry, you can spend as much time as you want here. They don't really want you there. Why would you want someone living in your yard that don't belong there in that manner? Nah. Nah, 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 nah. Nah, man. Nah. So, yeah, man, them, stop moving in with women and that. Yeah, stop it, man. Men need to maintain the power in the relationships and... You know what? If someone can decide your living situation, you don't have as much power. I don't give a fuck how abundant your mindset is, how much you don't give a fuck. You, you can't have that much power because at the end of the day, you're going to think logically in it. Yeah. And what you're going to do is you're going to avoid certain situations and that so that you don't get yourself kicked out. So you can't have the ultimate power in my eyes. I mean, it, it probably might be possible, wouldn't it? but fuck, to, just to avoid all that bullshit. Don't move in with no girl, innit? I know, man. Like man said in that, that video, that man just put like a, a little short clip in, innit? I know, man. They were playboys, if you want to call them that. They're fuckboys, innit? Yeah. Fuck it. Yeah, they deal with this girl, that girl, and that. And they said to me, like, nah, man, man's not on this, uh, man's not on this cheating thing no more, innit? And I know why. It's not because they're on some moral high ground now. It's not because they're a Jehovah's Witness now. Yeah? It's not because they're going to church every Sunday and you understand? No, no, no. They're now in a position where, boy, they've left their mother's yard and whew, that's a one-way street. Yeah, You can't go back there no more. So they're living under their girl's yard and they think to themselves and they know I better not fuck this up because if I do, again, Salvation Army, you ain't going to your mother's yard, your sisters, your friends. Fuck that. You know what? I'm going to behave myself. 
You see, you see, you see when you say to yourself and you make that conscious decision, I better not fuck this up. You know the woman can feel that. You know women are psychic, you know. They're psychic. All right, all right, they're not psychic. But female intuition, they know, you know, you can't fuck this up. And once that decision comes in your mind, once, once that comes in your head, I better not fuck this up. Hook, line and sinker. You're always going to be a little bit on tilt. You're always going to think twice about really standing up to a woman. I don't mean stand up to a woman. Oh, don't you talk to me like this. I mean, no, you ain't chatting to me like this and I'm out of here. Like I said, a woman will give you a, uh, an ultimatum. Shut up or get out of my yard. What are you going to do, blood? A gal will say to you, shut up or get out of my yard. What are you saying? What are you saying? Brother, you're watching this right now. If you've got a gal, just picture just picture this scenario right now. Don't imagine me to be your gal because I ain't no fucking bitch. But just imagine your gal said to you, shut up or get the fuck out of my yard. What are you saying? What would you do right now? I'm chatting to you, my brother. And if your gal watching this, just, just pretend that you said that to your man, innit, yeah? And pretend and, 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 and just imagine what he would do. What do you think he would do? you got a man right now living under your roof. And you said to your man, shut up or get the fuck out of my yard. What do you think he would do? Do you think he would shut up? Or do you think he would argue back with you? Or do you think he would say, mate me then? Or would he have balls and say, you know what? Fuck you, I'm getting out of here. Yeah. This, this is why man not moving with no girl and pick up boy. I don't want yeah, that's all long. That's all long. Me, I'm a man, I represent stability and that. And man are not up and down and having fuck fuck all that bullshit, man. Fuck all that bullshit, man. Yeah. You know, like like even, I even go to tenants' yards in it, because man's doing this electrical testing to me. I even go to tenants' yards and that and like the tenant will be a big woman, 45, 50, whatever, and, yeah. And she'll say, oh, my, st my son's kind of staying here at the moment because he broke out of his gal. So that means that, you know, he had to move back to his mom's yard because he has nowhere else to stay because his girl kicked him out or he left. And I just shake my head. I'm, I'm shaking my head, not because this youth's 17, because first of all, why are you even living with a gal at 17? You should be at your mother's yard saving your money, innit, yeah? You don't need to be in no serious relationships at 17 years old anyway. But these men are not 17. These men are the same age as man, 29, 35, Ross Clark years old. And they have to go back to their mother's yard like a little youth. Because they want to break, they want to split with their gal. Now, lucky for them, their mum and their gal live in the same area. But imagine if you live 60 miles away. Well, how are you going to get to work? Uh, yeah, All that inconvenience and that. Most men ain't willing to do it. So most men are going to get bitched up. This is how women maintain the power. Withholding sex and that. Yeah, yeah that's be a bear man right now. Bear man in sexless relationships. Yeah. You know why a woman don't want to have sex with them? Because uh, a woman don't want to have sex with a man who's weak, blood. Yeah. Yeah, women want to have sex with a strong man. And a part of being strong is saying, you know what? Before I allow you to run this relationship, I'm out of here, blood. And you have to come back and beg me back. Yeah, like that. I'd rather lose you than submit to you. Because, you know, if you're gal, yeah. See, this is the reason why women don't sleep with some men. Yeah? Because a woman cannot submit to a man that she don't see as above her. Yeah. A woman, if you're submitting to your girl, she can't submit to you. That ain't even make no fucking sense. That's like God bowing down, if you believe in God. You, you bow down to a God and the God bow down to you. No, 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 that don't make no fucking sense. So if a woman can't submit to you, she won't sleep with you, innit? Yeah. So a lot of men are in sexist relationships right now because you ain't standing up for yourself. You ain't standing up. So, man, then, one thing as well. This video's going on for fucking long. You're 24 minutes. But how the fuck the man talk for 24 minutes? This video is supposed to be a 5, 10 minute video, you know? Anyway. Ah. Uh, yeah.
In terms of accountability, we need to take accountability as men in relationships. If you've got a girl, and you know what? Even if you're just talking to a girl, how they talk to us, how they deal with us. Your woman's behavior is a direct indication of how you allow her to treat you. So if your woman is disrespectful, tells you to shut up, calls you a dickhead, that's your fault, you know. Don't blame the woman. Because she can only do what you allow her to get away with. You think my girl can tell me shut up? You think my girl can get away with calling me a dickhead or saying fuck you? No, there's going to be consequences and repercussions. I ain't going to put my hands on her or nothing like that. But I'm going to deal with her. Bro. Don't let these women take the piss. Don't let them get away with murder. Don't let them get away with nothing. Yeah, zero tolerance. ZT. Man, they need to start standing up for themselves and standing up to women. Told you already at bad times, man. See neighbors and neighbors girls saying, get in the yard, and she's grabbing man. He's like, get off me. She's like, get in the fucking yard now, or you can stay up. How are you letting your girl talk to you like that? How the fact that his girl could even come out with that, you could just imagine. So if that's how she's talking in public, well, what the fuck's going on behind closed doors, blood? Again, like what man said earlier, if your girl not sleeping with you, that's your fault. You're doing something to turn that woman off. And it's probably because you're not standing up for yourself. Man for stand up for themselves all the time. All the time. See, this is the thing. Everyone can be a tough guy and a bad boy on the first date. Go about six months into the relationship or the courtship, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, everyone a bad boy on a first date. Every man can say to a guy, yeah, put that phone away. Rare, rare, rare. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Everyone can say that. What about six months? A year when that dopamine has really built up. Oxytocin, whatever they call it, yeah. The feeling of bonding has real, really built up and you're, you're put in a position where, boy, you might lose this girl, you know. Any, any, anyone that's like starting a job and after a day quitting the job. Oh, yeah, you're a real tough guy, ain't it? You just fucking started a job. You have nothing invested. You ain't established in the job. What about two, three years where you're comfortable in the job and your, your boss is talking mad? Are you going to stand up for yourself with the potential that you could get fired? Look at me. I'm going to stand up for myself. Bro. I won't be able to live with myself. I won't be able to sleep at fucking night. Knowing that my boss is talking to me like a fucking bitch, blood. Same with a gyal as well. You know, you know, like when a girl loses so much respect for a man, again, she don't want to sleep with him. She don't even want him in the same bed. If you're a guy watching this right now, if you do not sleep in the same bed, if obviously if you live with your girl, obviously, if you live with your girl and you do not sleep in the same bed as her, you might be sleeping downstairs on the sofa or she might go and sleep on the sofa. I mean, she has no attraction for you. She doesn't even want to be in the same... She, she, Obviously, if you're not sleeping in the same bed, you're definitely not having sex. But you know what? She doesn't want to be next to you in the bed. You know why? She doesn't want to put herself in a position for you to seduce her. You know, like... You know, like, when you go out on a date with a gal and... You try to ask her back to your yard or whatever, and she says no, or whatever. And yeah. some girls play hard to get, but some girls are on the date because they and they're not interested. They're not on the date to get to know you. They're on the date because they want to pass time. So they're not gonna come back to your yard, or they're not gonna let you go back to their house because they don't want to be put in a position where you can seduce them. It's the same thing with your girl. So anyway, man's gone all around the, the, the houses and the estate and the world with this video on it, but 
man, them stop moving in women. I don't feel sorry for that guy who was a big Ross Clark man, 65, 70 years old, that got evicted by his, uh, let's just call it his stepdaughter or whatever. Isn't it? Yeah. Why are you in a position to be getting kicked out by some little gyal that you helped raise? Ask yourself this question. If a man was established, do you think that would happen to him? Do you think Drake is in a position where he get he can get kicked out by some, some gyal that he was helping to raise? Or P. Diddy. Or Jay-Z. You're not fucking established. Get yourself Ross Clark established. And stop moving in with these women. Stay wise. Done now.